What is the value of disability advocacy? So about one in five Victorians has a disability. That number really increases when we um, include mental health as well and mental health issues. And so people, having people stand up and saying, that discrimination is not acceptable. I don't want to be in a state that condones that sort of um, disadvantage and allows that to happen. We need people to put their hands up and say, uh, that's not okay and I'm going to advocate for change here. Whether that be in, law, in the laws that we all have to abide by um, or just making sure that someone with a disability has a chance, whether it's in housing or their employment or in their education or just going down to the shops. Uh, it's so important to have people advocating for everyone in our communities to have that chance. I think disability advocacy is important to Victoria because it provides that independent um, watchdog basically and it can be that friendly ear to the systems and government um, and, and people within the community to understand the rights of people with disabilities. And it basically the work that we do is that we support people to self-advocate um, as much as they are wanting and able to and to really build on the skills and build capacity so that they're able to understand their rights for the future and then hopefully that spreads and people can support other people, their peers, and create that movement um, for you know, understanding the rights of people with disabilities. I think that, um, that everyone has something that they can contribute and when everyone is able to contribute, they, it makes our society as a whole much more, um, a lot deeper and, and, and a lot um, a, a richer. So um, um, advocacy is important f um, for the individual, but it's also important f for the society as well, because um, it, everyone gains something when everyone is able to, to participate. Disability advocacy is fundamental at the moment because uh, it's the only way a lot of excluded people get to have inclusion, get to start their inclusion journey. Um, it's really the people seeking difference rather than seeking similarity. The disability advocacy in Victoria is a step towards people seeking similarity, finding similarity, and thereby having that inclusion. More and more, we're seeing people with disability in crisis, who are coming to us because they're in crisis, because they're embroiled in the criminal justice system, because they're embroiled in domestic and family violence, because they're embroiled in the child protection system or they're homeless. So they're at, they're, they've got nowhere else to turn and they come to us as, a, as almost as a place of last resort to get help to work their way through a really significant crisis. Without that safety net of, of disability advocacy to help people navigate those systems and to get the help they need, we end up with people spiralling further and further down until they're in, in really dire circumstances. And I think disability advocacy has a, has a circuit breaker role to play in supporting people with disabilities that without that circuit breaker, we'd have a whole lot of people in much worse circumstances. But also, I think we play an important role with the government as a canary in the mine. In, in, being aware at the coalface of the problems that are people with disabilities are encountering and being able to feed that back to government so that we can help governments come up with better solutions. Fundamentally, disability advocacy is a safeguard against discrimination, abuse and neglect of people with disability. It's really critical that we um, support the advocacy um, sector um, because we are protecting people with disability. We're preventing them from experiencing discrimination, abuse and neglect, and we're supporting them when they do through those reconciliation processes, complaints processes and legal processes. They talk all the time about how they want Victoria to be the most inclusive state and to leave no Victorian behind and you know fairer Victoria. We hear all of this these words and and you know disability advocacy is fundamental in achieving that fairness for all Victorians um, and you know when people are supported within their communities and when people know what their rights are within their communities it benefits the whole community um, and so it's really important that we support advocacy into the future. For more information about disability advocacy visit daru.org.au